We're going to get Dream Booth working and train a simple model. First get set up with Automatic 11.11. I've got a tutorial video if you don't know how to set it up. First go to Extensions, Available tab, load the extensions, search for Dream Booth, hit Install. Go to the Install tab, select the new extension, hit Apply. Make sure you restart Automatic 11.11. Hit Refresh and you should see a new tab called Dream Booth. And we're ready. Let's prep some images with the help of Kaguya-sama. You want to crop out some 512 by 512 images. Three images should be enough to get started. I recommend using more when you get properly into it. Next, go to the Train tab, pre-process images, put in the path to your images, set a destination directory, this can be anywhere, click Use Deep Boru for caption, hit pre-process, and this will generate captions for your images. You can have a look if you're curious what's inside it. Go back to your Dream Booth tab, go to Create Model, give your model a name, Pick a model that has a style similar to what you're going for and hit create model. Once that's done, hit performance wizard to automatically fill in some values. Go to the concepts tab. The dataset directory is your pre-processed images directory. That's the one with the text files in. Put in file words in square brackets for the instance prompt so that Dream Booth uses the text files. Go back to the top, hit training wizard person. This will fill in the rest of the settings and then press train. If you get an error message, just hit train again, and it will carry on from where it broke. Once that's done, we're ready to use the model. Go back to the text to image tab, hit the refresh button for the models, find your newly trained Dream Booth model here, put in a few prompts that describe Kaguya, hit generate, and that I do, a basic Dream Booth model. In later videos, I'll show you how to make the model more flexible and make it not follow the training images so closely. One important thing to note is that Currently, LoRa generation in Automatic 11.11 doesn't quite work. The small LoRa file that gets generated can't be used in the normal way. Your best bet is not to use this interface for now, but use a command line tool instead. I may make a video about that in the future. I hope you found this short tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.